A giant tornado had struck the city and Underdog was cleaning up the debris. Suddenly, Underdog's ultrasonic ears picked up strange noises. A million light years from this place, I hear yells in outer space. And Underdog was right. A million light years away lay the strange planet of the Flying Sorcerers. And at that very moment, King Cup, leader of all the Flying Sorcerers, was screaming his head off. The Bakers! The Bakers! Bring me the Bakers! Here I am, King Cup, the finest baker in all this land. Your cakes are terrible. I want cake that tastes like cake. Throw him out and send for my sons. And the guards did as they were told. Threw out the baker and brought in King Cup's sons, Rick and Brack. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. We flying sorcerers are the greatest sorcerers in the universe, and yet we can't even bake a decent cake. <laughs> My dart has landed on the planet of the Magnet Men. Go there and bring me back one of them. We shall see if they can bake a cake. And so Brick and Brack took off and zoomed through space to the planet of the Magnet Men. Flying sorcerers, get away from me. Oh, be a good fellow. Come along with us, dear old dad. I won't, I won't. But I'm afraid we'll have to sorcer you, old chap. I think I'll turn him into a tree. Good show. Into the capsule he goes. And homeward bound through space. You, Magnet Man, shall be our new baking slave. Lock him in the bakery. But when the king tasted the Magnet Man's cake... Ugh! Tui! Terrible! He can't bake at all! Throw him out! Sorry, Dad. My dart has hit the planet of Zot. Go there and bring back one of the inhabitants. There must be someone who can bake a cake. So Brick and Brack hurried to Zot. And captured the first inhabitant they saw. Hey, stop! Let me alone! I'll turn him into a cow. Good show. The flying sorcerers popped the Zot man into the capsule and tossed him to their planet. But later, when the king tasted the Zot Man's cake... Ah, Tui! Horrible, terrible! Throw him out! Too bad, Dad. <laughs> this time, my dart has landed on a planet called Earth. And this time, we will take no chances. Turn on the supersonic TV and let us see who on Earth can bake a cake. <laughs> And so, dear viewers, that concludes my own recipe for chocolate cake, just like this one. And now, this is Sweet Polly Purebred. Enough! Go to the Earth and bring back Sweet Polly Purebred. She shall be our baking slave. Will they really capture Sweet Polly? Will she become a baking slave of the Flying Sorcerers? There's plenty of excitement ahead in our next episode. <laughs> King Cup, king of the flying sorcerers, was sending his sons, Brick and Brack, to the earth. Bring back sweet Polly Purebred. She shall be our baking slave, baking cakes for all the flying sorcerers. Okay, Dad. We'll get her, Dad. <laughs>
Valley purebred. <laughs> Could you direct us to Sweet Polly Purebred? Of course. Just two blocks down the street at Station T TV. Thanks, Chet. <laughs> My goodness, sir. You look terrible. And so, dear viewers, I hope you've enjoyed our special baking show. Until tomorrow, this is Sweet Polly Purebred signing off. Good show, Brick. Now we toss her home, Brack. Please, sir, what are you trying to say? The, the, those, those things that asked about Sweet Polly, they were flying sorcerers. Flying sorcerers? Excuse me, sir, but I must leave. When Polly's in trouble, I am not slow. It's hip, 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 and away I go. Underdog's ultrasonic ears quickly picked up Sweet Polly's muffled screams, and he zoomed toward the sound. There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. Good kick, Greg. Good whack, crack. Out of the ballpark this time, Greg. Those flying sorcerers kicked me around, and now it seems they can't be found. Those flying sorcerers are cause for alarm. I must find them before they can do Polly harm. <laughs> and now to Dad with his new baking slave. Let me go! Stop! Let me go! You flying sorcerers must end your folly. I am here to take sweet Polly. Oh. Dog, thank goodness. Looks like we'll have to saucer him, Greg. Let's have a ball, Greg. Underdog, he's he's only a ball. The flying sorcerers had sweet Polly, and Underdog, now only a ball, tumbled helplessly through the air. Can Underdog possibly change himself back to himself? Is Sweet Polly doomed to remain the baking slave of the flying sorcerers? There are thrilling times ahead in our next episode. sorcerers had captured Sweet Polly Purebred and brought her to their planet to be King Cup's new baking slave. So, Sweet Polly Purebred, now we shall have cake that tastes like cake. Lock her in the baking kitchen and have her bake a cake at once. No! Oh, no! Let me go! Take your hands off me! But it was no use. Now, you set to baking a cake, old girl, and we'll be forced to saucer you, turn you into a bug. Oh, no! Then set to work, old girl. Hurry along with that cake. And as Sweet Polly set to work to bake a cake for the flying sorcerers, where was the powerful underdog? Tumbling through space, headed for Earth. For the flying sorcerers had changed underdog into nothing more than a bouncing ball. A ball! Kick it this way, Freddy! Ah! Using his amazing power of concentration, Underdog fought desperately to break the spell of the flying sorcerers. I'm back to myself, but I'm not right at all. I feel myself changing back to a ball. And while Underdog bounced helplessly along, 
What of sweet Polly purebred on the planet of the flying sorcerers? Ooh, delicious. Jolly good. Top drawer. Now, may I go home? Will you take me back to Earth where I belong? Back to Earth? You're going to stay here and bake us cakes forever. This time, I want 50 cakes instead of one. No! Let me go! You can't argue with Dad, old girl. 50 cakes? I shall have to use this huge mixing bowl and mixer. Oh, if Underdog were only here to take me away from all this. But Underdog was not there. Instead, he had bounced into the middle of a girl's volleyball game. Hit it, Jane! Uh, oh. Look, that's not a ball at all! It's Underdog! I'm back to myself, but I'm not right at all. I feel myself changing back to a ball. Meanwhile, back with the flying sorcerers. Ooh, delicious! But not enough cake. This time, you must bake 500 cakes. But I can't, please. No use, old girl. Back to the job. Oh, there's no other way. Now I shall have to use this biggest of all mixing bowls and this huge electric mixer. I'm so weary, if only Underdog were here. But unfortunately, the once powerful Underdog had now bounced his way into a hard-fought basketball game. Hey, look, it's not a basketball! It's Underdog! This is highly irregular. I'm back to myself, but I'm not right at all. I feel myself changing back to a ball. the players chased Underdog around the court, Sweet Polly was mixing the batter for 500 cakes. I'm so tired. So sleepy. Help! Someone! I've fallen into the mixing bowl! Help! Will she be caught in the mixer? Will she go down in the batter? The answer lies ahead in our next exciting episode. Sweet Polly Purebred, the baking slave on the planet of the flying sorcerers, had fallen into the giant mixing bowl with no one to help her. Help! Please help! Oh, where? Oh, where? Does my underdog gone? Where was underdog? Just a ball on a basketball court. But then... As his ultrasonic hearing heard the faint cries of Sweet Polly from millions of miles away, Underdog summoned all his mighty powers of concentration to break the spell of the flying sorcerers. Finally, now I have broken the spell. I did it because I heard Sweet Polly yell. Where, oh, where has my Underdog gone? <laughs> There's no need to fear, Underdog is here. Oh, Underdog, oh, you saved me. But you look so tired, and you'll have to fight the flying sorcerers. What can we do? The secret compartment of my ring I fill with an Underdog energy vitamin pill. Before I fight. 
nothing it never can so dry your tears and act like a man <laughs> but what about my cake you can have your cake and eat it too if sweet polly purebred wants you to <laughs> but how if you're taking her away i can tell you how you mean old king but you must promise that you will never harm anyone again i promise i promise i'll always be good then here is my recipe all you have to do is follow instructions and you can bake a cake yourself why didn't i think of that thank you thank you and so with king cup and all the flying sorcerers living happily ever after the people back on Earth could once more look into the sky and say, Look, it's a plane. It's a bird. It's a frog. A frog? Not plane, nor bird, nor even frog. It's just little old me. Uh... <laughs> Underdog. <laughs>